Hey, what's up, Techos? Um, here's our next uh, video, and it's uh, my kind of tantric. And it's basically going to explain to you how I did my meditations. I don't want to use the word meditations, you know, because meditations means premeditated murder to me. And I refuse to use it as that form of thing. And the word tantric really, I think, is just to be able to see with the eyes shut. And I believe that it would give me that much pleasure. So seeing with my eyes shut or all of the tantric meditation. And think about like money and how you could just say these two shit ideas that are completely worthless or my idea. You know, and understand that, you know, it's time to develop and really use our bodies and learn. I know someone has. I know someone's done it. But it's gotta be done. It hasn't been done. It hasn't been done. <laughs> You know, so um, <clears throat> here we have a lure, and it has cancer and tantric mixed. I mean, yeah, up here, and the little ball is on this lure. I would use probably the envisioned ball here, which isn't really there, but there's a place in between your nose here where there could be a ball when you say the word tongue, you know, because it puts a ball right there. And um, it's basically, you know, a fish looking at it, you know, and when you put a lure in the water and you don't want to catch a fish, it's basically the envisioning that you do, you know, it's what you, you know, envision. And um, <clears throat> finally able to close eyes, fish not getting a lure. Now a fish can't really not close its eyes. It has wide open eyes, but it does other shit too. You know, it can see, you know, and if it could close its eyes, it would be a good skill for that fish to learn. And, um, you know, here we have a triangle down here by the area here. And it's basically like wearing a kilt or a skirt. Both of these are two different people, or it could be you and yourself, or it could be you and another person, just everyone. You know, this is me, this is you, this is me and you speaking. You know, and um, <clears throat> I believe that everyone should be able to have this kind of thing, to be able to see with your eyes shut with each other, you know, if that makes sense. You know, and um, anyway, so we have four preoccupied limbs, and you have to follow this diagram with your body. It's not being a lure, but it's basically like if you could hold a bowl in this hand and a bowl in this hand and then take your feet and be in a comfortable enough position to kind of mathematically equate to it, Kind of like if your feet were folded, or if you're just kind of like this, you know. But I mean, just how it would be comfortable for you. It doesn't have to be just, you know, the exact same thing, you know. But basically that, you know, I'm holding a bowl with this much weight and this much weight, and my feet are holding one and this one, you know. And then I can, you know, move this up or down, and it would look like breasts, you know, looking up or down, you know. And, you know, also eyes, <laughs> you know, and weight measurements, ass. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> and um, it's preoccupied with one dot of that tongue word syllable said in each one of the bowls. One bowl, next bowl, next bowl, next bowl. And then, you know, you have your head, of course, which is narrating what's going on. And um, everything would be balanced that way. But then we have, you know, one kilt or skirt, which is the blind spot. And that's where, you know, everything is being seen. It's not that, you know, <clears throat> that there's, like, you know, molesting you and fucking you going on there. But it's just that everything is being, you know, concentrated into a spot, you know, where you can feel it, you know, in that spot. Like, you know, you have all your information in that spot. You know, if you tried to push something out of it, it, it would be from that spot. You know, um, <clears throat> and so it is a blind spot. It's like, it's like a blind area, you know, where it feels good there. You know, it's just like, you know, I got this on, but I could take it off. But if I was, you know, like a digital type of person or just, you know, how I envision, you know, how I am as a person, you know, like who I am, you know, made am. You know, like what this is, you know, is a person with a jacket. You draw a person with a jacket, you know, and it's a rough sketch, you know, and it would just, you know, be the jacket, 
you know, but under the jacket is me, you know, and that's what I mean is, you know, having the clothing and everything, is that there's that blind spot where you can't see it, and that's what feels good is that it could have a pressure pulling out of that blind spot, and it could also have, you know, something that might interact with that blind spot or not, you know, but just the way that that feels, you know, is basically what I'm saying, because that is where the sexual pleasure is. It's not the fact that it's sexual or that it's not. But it's just that there's a blind spot and that you can use that to use your information, you know. <clears throat> and it's supposed to feel, and it's supposed to fuck, and it's supposed to have sex, but it feels like a distance form. So it's not like it feels like, you know, I'm putting my gigantic hair inside of toilet Phil's butt, you know. It's not like that. That doesn't have a blind spot. You can't, you know, it'd be like this, you know, like it touches something else, you know, that is touching, or, you know, it's like two blind spots touching each other, you know, you know, so, um, <clears throat> and with some kind of shady skirt or kilt that holds and keeps what it says and has, weight postures, um, of the opposite, not floating self weighed out, um, <clears throat> And then here we have, you know, the same on the other side, but different weight because it's a different person. You know, we have different things at various that explain who we are. That is the energy that we go on is, you know, this guy has these features that look good. You know, this is a good physic. All this is, you know, a blind spot technically. You know, when it is in that blind spot, it feels very good. It's very pleasurous in that. It's like, oh, you know, fuck me. You know what I mean? But just different words and things to explain it. But... Really, that's what you would say, just anything that's come out, you know, but definitely, you know, fucking, you know, and um, it doesn't have to be done, but when you do fuck, this is what you would you have to use. You know, so weighs out the scale as volume and mass, pressure based on full, using full imagined potential, using full imagined potential real force to not receive the lure. And um, that's what that is, is the volume and mass that everything that you have uses to fill up the area, you know, and that's what I just, ex that I just think to you. So, um, and then here we have, you know, this allows all fantasies to be realized, and that is, you know, the smarter fish. And um, it's just, you know, a, it's a thing that you can develop and it makes you a stronger and better person. Um, but anyway, I have a story to go with it, and it was a past life experience I had as a fish, and it's also a person from Vietnam or something. It's a legend of uh, Mahi Mahi. And this never gets any better because it's a perfect way to feel, touch, smell, taste, and enjoy, not getting anything you don't want, including, you know, women, men, animals, plants, STDs, herpes, tests for the two small types, under always under a certain level, and missing pixels, missing points. Things you don't need, cuckolding, being a child, being a useless measurement, bad music, ugly people at certain angles of expressions, wrong expressions, wrong signs, forgetting, false hope, loss of control in the exactly wrong done way, and how good a piece of bait tastes, which obviously is bait. So how do we stop fish from eating it by not wanting them as feel but being full? So it's just that, you know, you don't want to just you know, eat something that you don't want to eat. <laughs> Alright, we just want to go over that. So here we have, you know, more of this diagram, more of the representations and styles that it could go on, you know. <clears throat> um, here we have, you know, a fish looking at a real mushroom. And it has its eyes closed and that's kind of the best way I could really explain it and how the face would want to look. Uh, fish looking at a huge gigantic mushroom, should I eat it? You know, this is what it's like being alive as anything. And it's a life diagram. You know, it's another form, you know, it's the form to look at everything as, you know. Should I eat this huge mushroom here? You know, and it's just how these grow is based on things that are dead and it eats the particles. And that the fish, you know, is just like, closed mouth and it's seeing how big that is and how much it can how much it's eaten from the waste that we use you know that I mean that it uses in us you know that it uses and um it has three feet 
you know, it's like if you had, you know, two legs and then you had another limb right here. Like instead of it being, you know, dick and penis and all that, if you had another thing there, I mean, it would be like having, you know, a fish with, you know, two fins coming out and then instead of just shit and piss coming out and you know it keeps the stuff there that it's using but I'm just saying if there was a kilt there it would be like another you know thing to use you know <clears throat> another imprint you know yes or no you know and um, here we have you know yes and it says you know get shredded by like four or five different fish and you know it's like the fish would have moved in you know, to the uh, mushroom and the piece of the mushroom, you know, is what my philosophy is, is that if something, you know, says yes to bait, you know, which is the mushroom, you know, and mushrooms are, you know, obviously asexual and are kind of, you know, they reproduce on their own, you know, it's how I've looked at it, they just go off of things that are finished, you know, the clit and the penis are both, you know, prime examples of that. And, um, you know, this is the mushroom now and dies and becomes the roots and some dirt. And, um, basically, you know, it's like moving into a house when you get killed and you get to stay there for a little bit, you know, or something. But it's still, I don't think that it would have been a good idea to say yes. Because you would have eaten that or it would have eaten you. It's one or the other, you know. And that's how it goes, you know, yeah, so so far, yes or no in English goes like, you know, yes or no may cause discomfort or thinking or taking its time or comfort and or adds, you know, one frame or one weight to preoccupied limbs each try. You know, just looking at whether I should or not here, you know, it's supposed to look good, of course. And... You know, I mean, just looking at it is where that pleasure is. You know, the eyes are open here, and, you know, kind of seeing it. You could do it with the eyes shut as well. And, um, you know, a fish, you know, has, you know, a lens, you know, it doesn't have to close its eyes or open them, but does, and does it another way. You know, it's heartbeat recognition, you know. Um, you know, avoids lure, doesn't let um, equation target mushroom lure and you know m gets to move and get more comfortable and not have the huge thing in front of it which is basically unisex really some representation and this is just what you will say you know when it's like yes or no you can say no and to eating it you know but that would give it time to think some more or that you basically are stalling that amount of time i guess you could say i, I don't know or maybe not i don't know but why not say yes just because it's because it's a lure so he'd be avoiding the lure by saying no you know and um <clears throat> you know fishy smelly hands attracting an innocent bystander is a huge problem because it's not human you know when somebody has those 50 first dates hands it's just all fucking nasty and oblong it's off it's not right and just fishy hands in general really stink and they smell really bad you know and that as the hand to look at it's like looking at a tiny fuck up. It's like looking at those pixels, you know, they're just all fucked up looking. You know, it's like something that, you know, does not fit and it's just, you, it's just, you can't want it. You know, it's like accepting a lure. You know, so, you know, here we have, you know, a sock, an alligator, upper body, sign symbols, flags, numbers, khaki legs, fish legs, or whatever. Anything entertaining enough or not entertaining enough should be what these fish or whatever be or just that fish or maybe also healthier. You know, it's just that we take up different forms when we analyze these things to explain things. And when, you know, I'm sitting there looking at this bait, which is there, you know, and this, I mean, just this weight, and, you know, how that would feel. You know, I'm just seeing how, you know, I can be different things. And usually I use other animals and shapes and things, you know, to do that, you know. And then here we go, you know, digital things feel fucking good.
Keeping Amphibious feels fucking good. Having a Selection feels fucking good. Tree Lines Crisscrossing feels fucking good. Keeping Covert feels fucking good. Keeping Options feels fucking good. Being Taller, Cut Bottom feels fucking good. Seeing with eyes shut open feeling fucking good would be nice. Modifications seem cool and amazing and seeing with other eyes feels fucking good. Here's your diagram. Very fucking good. It's something. Something that I've done. You know what I mean? So how do we see with our eyes shut? And you know, feel itchy mask on our face with no mouth or nose expression. And then there's the face there. And it's just how that would feel if your eyes were just constantly looking at something for a long time. And just really, like, oh, fuck, you know. And just imagine an itchy-ass fucking ninja mask on your face, you know. Or just any kind of, you know, thing like that. And just see how that would fucking feel, you know. Because I, I don't think that... I don't know, but the story has it. You know, that I dreamed that I had a box of orange juice or other kinds of orange juice boxes. I laid down on my bed, closed my eyes, and my eyes stayed open. Looked realer and clearer than before, like fish eyes with no lids, of course. And, you know, here is, you know, the two orange juice boxes. And uh, it's just a diagram. And I, I drank it, and then I closed my eyes, but I could see everything wide open. And if I can do it in a dream, then I can do it in real life. Because why the fuck else am I going to learn? You know, I want to learn how to be able to do it and all of it. I want to be able to do it. You know, I think it, it's possible. I think I can see my eyes closed from visuals. You know, and that, it's, it's already explaining it because you know, we have a mushroom here that looks like our eyes. You know, and it has the roots back here. It has roots. So in my diagram, this has roots. You know, so I can use that, you know, I can use it, you know, to understand. So, um, you know, here we have, you know, um, a weak dab of perfume on the wrist, weak skin posture, feels vulnerable, and possible danger, you know, like a little knife or something. And I don't know why, but it's part of that information you got to understand. But I mean, just imagine somebody with a wrist. And it's just the smell of just some perfume on it. It's like, and it's just some old wrist, you know, and it's just got that, like, just slid it now, you know, like it was already, you know, just fucking cut, you know, and I mean, just that little weak hand with just that, you know, it's, you know just smelling that is going to be it. It's like your whole life is just that little bit of just failure, you know. And that's just like a little lure, you know, possible danger, like that's going to do anything, you know. So when I close my eyes, danger. And this, that's it, you know, like that's going to be it. It's just going to be a little piece of, you know, cherry jelly on top of, you know, a little piece of cake. And you're just going to fucking fall for that, okay. So when I close my eyes, why is this what I see only? Me safe? And it's still me, you know, looking at a grandmother figure. You know, that isn't obviously who she was. You know, I wanted her to be a person there. You know, but I, I just don't see why, you know, that keeping me safe and just have keys and just little sounds like that. Really, that's what it was. You know, that's what it was for you, you know. That's what it was for everyone. You know, mental constructs would be stronger. Our eyes are not perceiving I'm trying to learn. You know, so I'm seeing that, you know, that doesn't sound right. But, um, you know, I want to be able to use these for something else, I believe. I think that that seeing that we are seeing here is probably not our eyes. Since there's more to learn when I see it. But one thing is true, I'm told I'm made of tiny particles, but I disagree. I believe a particle is a lure. Here's a little tiny particles here as well. You know, there's little particles up in this 
have particles up in here, little tiny particles, you know, and I'm still not one of those visuals that to be these little tiny particles because I could see, you know, Einstein's diagram with these fucking stupid, you know, little, you know, lithium and calcium and, you know, you think that that's going to be good, calcium and, you think that's going to be good. You know, I believe a particle is a lure. If my eyes itch or get sleepy and are just used as titties, sexy and shapely, then shit. You know, because, I mean, I've seen someone look at me and they're like, I see that, you know, they're pointing at a little dot right here, like in the middle of my eyes, and I'm just like looking at it like this. I need to be able to make my eyes go out this way somehow. Because, I mean, how come I can only look straight and go in? You know, that, that doesn't make sense to me. I think that these, if I can turn this way, I should be able to turn that way with these both. And it shouldn't be written and stimpy and just kind of like wonky looking. But it needs to be able to be done. I mean, it has to do with this. You know, for sure. That's a skill. If you can do that, you know, then it can be done. I saw Eminem do it. You know, he's supposed to be part of my thing. You know, I think that he knows how to do it. I mean, he would have that picture of him with, uh, you know, Paul Rosenberg, and his eyeballs are literally split, but it's just that far. I mean, it could have gone even further. And I know it can. I know I can do it. I know it can be done. That was enough to try it. That was it. You know, I know he did it. You know, but also, you know, eyes emit light to see, you know, and here we have, you know, a face, you know, looking at flies, you know, and, um, could even think about how that would be in metaphor. A fly is a person. Have you ever seen a fly? A fly is a person. You know, and you know, using some basic easy math, flies and moths and mosquitoes maybe go right to light because it sees it and wants to be famous and be a particle. But it's forced as shit. You know, when you look at all these little particles and you see a famous person doing something and you think well maybe I could be that person who just barely looked at something that doesn't look good enough to even blend in and being a part of it you know that form of thing is irritation you know and it's annoying to you. you know it's irritating but just to see a fly want to be a particle me be a piece of a particle that a fly sees that is looking at me, you think that would be famous and amazing? How the fuck am I gonna explain how fun that is? How the hell can somebody sit there and want to talk about it? There's no way you can. That's another thing about this, you know, but it could be made of a fucking fly because it can fly, you know, but I just don't want to eat a fucking fly. I think that's useless. And then, you know, here we have another fact, though, you know, that goes with it, you know, with that ideology, you have to have all that taken in, you know, and examined. Um, this is cool as fuck, and it's just that, you know, a, um, you know, that electric shit, you know, the, uh, you know, electric thing that, you know, bugs go to when it fucking zaps them. You know, um, bugs go right to it, and, you know, it's an exterminator light, and they die. And so can tiny particles, you know, I mean, if a fly just wants to be me, you know, I understand why it would go to a light so much that it wants to die. You know, I can understand what that light is doing now, you know, and that's from just learning how to fuck like with this, you know, you understand it, you stay away from that light and feel even more pleasure, you know, but just that, you know, maybe light and flies, you know, has to do with it, you know, and, um, you know, it could be made of it. Um, so how do we keep the bugs out of our eyes then? Close them and then see the pressure from the light pushing at it. We got that part first, you know. And, you know, this is just me, you know. So I'm looking at this and, um, you know, it's just that you know, there's a pressure for sure because the light, when you close your eyes, has a pressure amount. A perfect amount of pressure. It's like an elevation for me, it's the elevation on uh, the game Populous 3. 
and it has this little map editor and it, it's just like looking at your feet you know and it has that perfect little round area you know where it has the indentions that push in or you know, you know like a human thing you know that you can see how you know something would have the attractive indentions because it has the pressure amounts that are pushing on the eyes as well you know, and just to be able to see it, you know, um, is basically what you would have to figure out, you know, using this material. Um, or what just flies and moths and whatever else won't go to cancer, you know, um, I don't know. I using its roots, and then we have cancer, the opposite of us in digital form. And here's an eye, you know, in the diagram, and then it's looking at cancer, you know. And I mean, if that's all I'm, I mean, can I convince myself that everything I'm looking at is cancer if I can't see with my eyes closed? And if so, if that's possible, which I believe is, because I dreamed about it drinking the orange juice in the box, I could see it, you know. And I think that that's something that I can try. The opposite of us in digital form is cancer. Um, because it's the opposite of us in digital form, and, you know, it is. But, I mean, really, you know, because that's what cancer is. You know, it eats, it, it, it's when you were completely done and the other stuff, it would actually, you know, be cancer and be the opposite of us in digital form. You know, um... You know, and here we have, you know, blue eyes seems like it's not looking directly at me. And this I've noticed in some people, especially people with wolf eyes, you know, or people that have these eyes and they look kind of Russian. You know, it seems like there's this little indention where this little dot would be in here, the tongue dot, you know, tongue, or just tongue one tongue, you know, it seems to be that these would be inside of both of these somehow, you know, or just some kind of indention of a dot, you know, kind of like when someone got their eye gouged and it seemed like white, you know, fully was measured as like, you know, like a, kind of like an egg yolk, you know, like being pulled out of something, you know, and it seemed to keep intact. And just that that white could sit inside of those eyes when someone's looking, you know, like they just, you know, got shot by a bullet, you know, or something. I mean, I can't really explain it any better than that. Um, and then we have, you know, black eyes with a white dot, and it's uh, eyes of cancer, can't answer, mix that. And um, so then that, and um, then we have, you know, blind spot. So the lure is a blind spot, a blind point, then it is. Not to see is to root. And it's just, the, you know, that's the blind spot is the lure, you know. So it's just to see it in that in a diagram form, you know, like to see it there, you know, explanation form, you know. And, you know, hook trying not to put a power bait or lure on one visible hook, you know. So it's kind of like, you know, taking a piece of power bait or a lure on a visible hook and trying not to put it on it in thought form. Um, you know, looking eye for meth usage and a blind spot with an eye dot causes a damn coma and laugh. You know, and um, basically here, you know, you can see, you know, that there's a little spot here. You know, and it looks like an eye looking this way. Um, here's a tooth that has you know an eye looking that way and the way that this is is a lure that was eaten cake is the word obviously and you can see how you know that tooth eating cake you know didn't brush his, you know um didn't brush its teeth and took meth you know and i actually did that experiment myself and you know i did you know since there are a selection of things that people are using um, I looked at my toe and I saw a little spot where I like, you know, um, I think there was no paint on it there or something. It looked like I looking out this way and it was a yellow tooth. It is all mathematical equations here, you know. 
and um, <clears throat> and then you know that looking eye turning away is what I saw you know and it looks like you know I thought that it was going to mean something and then later on you know my teeth you know right up in here had the exact same thing and this is the same diagram from what I was seeing and that is not a blind spot really because you know it was seen you know so an eye dot you know an eyeball can't really be a blind spot you know so that's how that could be possible to you know see with your eyes closed because your eyeballs you know if they really are things that turn like this you know if it if it does this mathematically you know then that would be a health issue so you have to be able to fix that you know fix it and um you know further um it seems digital to have two eye dots looking two other ways like a joystick you know a nintendo joystick's perfect you know just how you could turn it and you know you go this way, but it goes this way, but it turns, you know, the other way, you know, it has these, you know, directional movements and, um, you know, any other joysticks, you know, but, um, you know, we have these two little dots and I mean, if, if I can look, you know, this way, then, you know, I can also kind of, you know, turn the joystick, you know, like, you know, left, right, you know, right, left, or left, right, right, left, you know, and just the way that both of those forces kind of interact is definitely pressure, and it's the same equation, you know, as, you know, the light, and, you know, the darkness pressure as well. Um, uh, pivots like mine and pick, but if used, um, this is just about how you know, it kind of seems like, you know, kind of like you know, a little dwarf and kind of like, you know, step and, you know, kind of has that little pivot like that, you know, like a Smurf's feet, you know, sort of. Um, but anyway, my point was, you know, if you use that mining pick, you know, by envisioning, you know, it being really awesome and looking cool in that little area. You could actually kind of use that idea, you know, and I, I, I don't think that I'm talking about a lure at this point. I think this is you know, definitely not lure, you know, but it was just kind of um, some instruction, you know, but I'm sure it goes many ways. I'm sure you can understand it. So purely white eye has no dot cataracts is added to cancers, you know, so a white eye like that, you know, um, it's like cancers for your eyes. It's like, I guess, I don't know. Um, cataracts is definitely not a good thing. You know, but it is seeing a lot of things for sure. But cataracts, you know, if you can see with your eyes shut and open, you know, then I'm sure, you know, that um, you know, cataracts and cancer is not a good thing. So, you know, wash your hands with some nicer soap always cures looking at cataracts and also cancer mixed in and it's just that you know this is the visual I have when I see you know this stuff being fixed is that I don't really see this blending in with the cataracts I don't see how I'm washing with clean good white foamy soap and that I am using cataracts to see with you know like I want those cataracts let me wash my hands you know, I'm not seeing it like that, you know. And um, this is brought to you by You Are, You Are Some Soap, you know. And um, I don't really know what I said why, but it's just some kind of diagram and some kind of meaning. And um, I think that's it for that one, but actually... Let's go ahead and mix it in with these other two ideas. This was the same idea that I had earlier. It's that, um, it goes with it, but it's my video before this one. Social pressure is so bad that original word loony, baloney processed meat, balloon processed meat, and uh, bros, two men interacting processed meat, and two men interacting, or man and woman interacting processed meat, and it was about pixels, but this still has to do with it, of course. 
you know, it's kind of a mixture, like I'm saying. And, um, you know, two men interacting, one man in one moment now. Sold prescriptions pills now because one pixel prick is hidden for dead bodies and is sold as processed baloney. But you can be baloney. You are Elvis or sorry, Elvis baloney or baloney. And I had it perfect. It was baloney. You know, and just, you know, the ways that it is actually very irritating. And, um,. This is, you know, definitely a correction. So that's what we talk about, and it's all we talk about. You know, a techo correction. You know, and envisioned rooms should have no sparky pixels everywhere. That means I'm overclocking and may like something offers because that. So maybe that's a lure. You know, a problem. You know, um, one balloon should have one unit or on scale to pixel of breath in it. There should not be a long movie with people dying and all of that contributing to the small pieces of air blown into a pet's balloon, your balloon. And this is the first diagram. Look at that versus Playboy sucking dick then watching Bernie Mac back to back and right after. You know, um, this is just, you can just see how that is in this diagram. You know, how we have this perfect result here of a room which you have to have tantric with it because it's sexy as hell. Or seeing with your eyes closed with it. Because you can envision something that you make instead of seeing other things. That's another project. If it works, well, let's make it. You know, and then how, you know, looking at Playboy and measuring the weight balance of, uh, like, all these damn bikini girls that are selling coffee. And there's just a girl with a bikini selling coffee. I mean, come on, you know, and you get to be it. That's the only way that sits there. You know, and just a guy blowing a fucking bubble gum balloon or, you know, <sighs> fills it up and has to look like that, you know, until it's exhausted, basically, or until you can count the one unit of a pixel of each one, you know, because it fills up the room. And, uh,. It was just about Elvis, you know, and how that stuff's pronounced, you know, when you say beautiful and it says beau is the name, and, you know, it doesn't come out right, you know, and stuff like that, you know. I, I think that was pretty good. And our last part on this is uh, dots in moving, pieces of what I say sold or anyone, tourists. Let's take the, I see a car, but was not proposed to be sold by the person. Creates an ability to have a permanent form. I wrap wildlife cuts and fish bites and diamonds. Makes slow moving stuff seem full of real action. Just like not wanting to watch some old idiot catching a fish or a tractor running over a piece of wheat or some useless attraction like anything novelty. And, you know, basically, you know, when someone's doing something really, 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 really deadly, you know, and you're saying, well, you know, I look, you know, better, you know, dead, you know, and, uh, you know, you just try it one time, you know, you know, that's all I'm saying, You know, I mean, for real, you know, like for real. <clears throat> Here's a little diagram and all that. And, uh, you know, just that you could say, I, you know, I, mean, I can't really explain it, but I mean, that is one way to explain it, for sure. You know, and, you know, you just have to read it for what it is. I mean, I know it looks different in other ways, and it's fine. You know, I just want you to know. It is information that you can absorb and use the damn wonderful information.